Hi, fans. I don't even think I have fans. Like, if I do have fans, there's probably just my mum there watching TV. She's probably, like, my only fan on Facebook. I was looking through all my stuff and then we got a Sarah mail that came, started ringing from my phone. Oh my God, a message. What? What? You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you always control what goes on inside. Be ready to meet up with a familiar face outside ST James Station. <laughs> ST James Station, I'm afraid I don't know where that one is. <laughs> St. James Station. <laughs> Montana's so sweet. I mean, sometimes she doesn't quite think before she says something, but that's part of what, what we love about her. This guy came up to the window and started trying to distract me, I guess, but I just, I didn't even look him in the eye at once. I just kind of stared straight, like, straight past him. It was so gross. <laughs> It was so distracting, it was so gross. I had like a stomach in my face with like hair and I was like trying to like pinpoint a, like, a section on him so I like couldn't move and it was so gross. I don't know about you, but I'm distracted. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh there go. Stomping down. Woo. She's not even looking down. Oh, Whoa. here we go. Man, I love this smile. <laughs> I did my best to keep my balance and posture and focus, but yeah, no. <laughs> they're putting, I thought it's called a balage. Belliage. They're putting a belliage in my hair, so it's kind of like lighter at the end. Belliage? Yeah, I always call it balage here when I get confused. <laughs> in your group, you're going to script a 30 second promo for your product. We will film it and we will judge it. The two teams who win this challenge will go back to the house. They will be personally styled in a one-off Alex Perry gown. They will then be whisked off to the A-list glitterati soiree of the year, which is the relaunch of the Cartier Boutique. Not only will you be attending, you will be lavished with millions of dollars worth of Cartier jewelry. Oh my God. You will officially be representing the brand. It would be like a dream come true. <laughs> Total like Hollywood glamour. I really wanted to win it. Me and Jess turned to each other and we're like, we have to win this. <laughs> Being a model and a full-time student, I need to know where I need to be at what time and what I need to do at the quickest of glances. That's why we use Henry's highlighters. And when I get bored, I can turn my boring, boring old page into a party. They're great for people with busy schedules. Brighten up your day. Keep you on top. It <laughs> <laughs> had more cheese than the Saint Germain markets. <laughs> Jess in Montana's was hilarious. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable to actually watch, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a little stiff. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not shy anymore. <laughs> Montana, let's have a look. Wowza. What do you think? Yeah, I really like it. I, really I love it. it. Yeah. That's a super bloody model in the making in that picture. <laughs> Do you feel now maybe that this is a competition that you actually want to win? I know I can do it now, I think, and yeah, I just, I want it so bad. I'd run can... up to that screen and pash it because <laughs> you can do it. Montana. Wow. You've had a fabulous week and your photo is amazing. Congratulations, you will be published in this week's Sunday Magazine. Congratulations. Well done, Montana. Okay, Montana. Okay, well, should we have a look at your shot? Yes, please. What do you 
do you think? Yeah, I really like it. It looks really natural, so. Flawless for me, really, it really is. I look at you and I see a model. I would, I could see you in New York. I could see oh, yeah. you at the casting. You say she could make it in New York. Yes. I mean, you're there. You see the, the caliber of girls that are working over there. Do you really think Montana could compete? Because the prize for this competition is to go to New York. Yeah, I do. I really do, Montana. I think that you've got it. Thanks, Thanks Montana. So Thank you. Montana. <laughs> Montana, this is a fabulous photo. And congratulations, you have been chosen to be the face of Blackmore's hair, skin, and nails. Oh my God. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> when we got home, we saw a massive photo of Montana on the wall. Oh, you look stunning. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty big deal to win photo of the week, but also it's a lot of pressure. The judges expect because you got top photo, you should be able to pull that off every week. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, Very beautiful, beautiful. Really, really, yeah. Beautiful. Monty's definitely becoming a front runner for sure. I mean, she's got photo of the week two weeks in a row now and has been published twice. That's a pretty big thing to beat. And you know what? In that photo, you look really, <laughs> really expensive. Yeah. Montana, you're a volcano. I don't know, but that was a great exotic bird. Yeah. <laughs> With the no tops and everything, it's kind of like I more just, about taking yeah, away all the like, human kind of things. Yeah. I'm just really nervous that it seems like going to run out of me while I'm topless <laughs> and I'll get up and forget. Like, <laughs> take off. I don't know what my parents are going to say about this. Sorry, Mum. I didn't mean to take my top off. It was for modelling, for art. <laughs> Ready? There was a few tourists walking by whilst we had our clothes off and we were like... <laughs> this is a really basic improvisation game called Excuse Me, What Are You Doing? OK, so someone is in the middle and just using their bodies, they're going to be miming something. I am giving birth to a dog. So whatever I say, she has to do. <laughs> Izzy giving birth to a dog was really funny to watch. She really got into it. Okay. Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm falling in love with my brother. Oh, God. Why? Who's my brother? Are you my brother? You can mime. Just yeah, mime your brother. Just pretend he's there. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing? Um, I am... Stripping for the present. <laughs> oh, Rachel. How perfect. <laughs> no one walk in. <laughs> That's very un Rachel like, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. The train scene with the ticks was absolutely hilarious. I could not keep it together. It was just stupid. <laughs> great! You're all great. <laughs> Seriously, like, are you all right? No! Are you OK? I love Jess's no tick. No! 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 Or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Okay. And three! Fantastic, guys! I definitely don't think I've nailed it. I like... I like did this like last move like this and like I heard them like chuckle and I was like, don't laugh. Closer. <laughs> Colin. You changed your relationship status to single. Is everything okay? You're breaking up with me? Why? Who is she? No. She wouldn't. The 
parts were pretty cheesy, kind of easier that way, so that you could really just be cheesy and it wouldn't be weird. Am I crying? Yes, you're crying. <laughs> Chad's your brother. <gasps> I have no acting experience whatsoever. I'm always like the kid in the background who plays like the tree. <laughs> Chad, it's me. You've changed your relationship status to single. Is everything okay? No, I'm breaking up with you. She took an answer. Why? There's someone else. Who is she? So they all practicing in American accents. No, I am not. <laughs> Monty did start like talking like this a little bit. <laughs> I don't think she meant to. I don't think she even knew she was doing it. So just quickly. Okay. Australian accent. So in your own voice, don't worry about doing an accent. Yeah, wait, are we going, are we doing it? Doing Australian. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Oh no, like I, I thought I was doing an Australian accent. I didn't even realise I was putting on the fake accent. You're breaking up with me? Why? Because there's someone else. Who is she? Your best friend. No, she wouldn't. Yes, you can see the camera adores Certainly does. Montana. Yeah, She's yeah. so beautiful. And when she actually did speak with a natural voice, it, um, it actually, her voice sounded right for the character. Yeah, no, I thought, oh, look, I was really impressed. Chad is your brother. <laughs> Chad is your brother. Ugh. Chad is your brother. Oh, oh, that's, oh. Chad is your brother. <gasps> Chad is your brother. Oh. Gross. <laughs> I saw you said change your relationship status to single. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's kind of like this. You're breaking up with me? Why? And you kind of go like this. A little bit. Who is she? She's your best friend. No, she wouldn't. Holy <laughs> reaction, like, holy. <laughs> kind of like a chalkboard and someone like dragging their nails down it. It's just really irritating. <laughs> Yuck. I think this could be your script, this one coming up, Simone. This is a good one for you. <laughs> I was pretty confident during my audition, like especially in the second one when I had to be the Savannah girl. We know you can't afford that couture dress and that diamond necklace and that hair and that makeup. Um, Dirk Handis, I'm with Telstra Prepaid. I'm saving heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simone. Charlotte said that that role was made for me. So I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. She's a little bimbo. Give the kids up. Give me. Amazing. How do you think they went? Oh, look, you all did fantastically. We, it actually was a tough decision. Um, but we have made that decision. We have made the decision. And our winners for our Telstra national campaign Commercial Amelia Montana Simone and Maddie. Yay! My parents would be shocked seeing me on TV. They'd probably be like, Oh, it's my daughter. <laughs> we had no idea where we were going or what we were doing. We might be doing a farm shoot. Maybe they took a horse riding. Where are we going? Sarah called through the Bluetooth of the car. Hey, girl. Hi. Hi. I had no idea what was happening or where the sound was coming from. It's like, God. <laughs> did see a train. Choo choo. <laughs> Lincoln Lewis. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> I've never worked with a male model or an actor before. He's looked great. He was pretty good looking, so I was excited. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, he's he's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Lincoln, do you have any tips for the girls to get into character for their shoot today? Yeah, I do. It's all about how you prepare before you get on set. I heard you girls have been doing a lot of improvisation and, and that's really important because that helps you add your own spin to make your character unique. It helps you stand out. But above all else, just have fun and I'll be here to have fun with you today, which I'm very lucky to do. <laughs> I haven't had like boy contact in ages, so yeah, look out, Lincoln. I'd get so down every day. The briefing was to be really sad and that we were leaving a loved one behind. How do you do beautiful sad? Because whenever someone cries, they're always like, oh, and they look so terrible on camera. So I think it was probably one of the hardest of the day. I thought that was it. I thought, yeah, Sarah was off and we'd be all off to bed, but that was not the case. <laughs> All right, guys, well, Girls' Night In is about getting together and having some fun. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how to make it an extra special Girls' Night In? I thought I'd bring some extra girls to have some fun. Some familiar faces. What? What? As soon as we heard familiar faces, we were like, please don't just be Charlotte. Montana, it's her older sister, Ali. I can't even explain like what I felt like. I was grabbing her. I was like, this isn't real. And you know what I did? I asked everyone to bring something special with them. Ali, what did you bring? A netball <laughs> uniform for Ariel. <laughs> I'll give a bit of a cap walk. What? <laughs> I love you. La 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 Distract me with your eyes. La 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 we're all feeling very melancholic and sad and gloomy and we just want to go and lie on the couch and be sulky. <laughs> but um, we walk inside and the phone starts beeping. Hi girls, I hope you enjoyed last night. A true friend is someone you treasure. However, someone's treasure can also be another's trash. Ew. <laughs> Nobody really wants to be doing anything with trash. <laughs> your cars are waiting to take you to your next location. What? What does trash, trash, trash mean? Trashy people. Trash, trash. I hope we get to dress up as real trash bags. <laughs> like <laughs> drag, drag queen. Drag queen. Trash, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> we rocked up at a dump. Oh, it stank Ew. so bad. gonna vomit. It was like the whole world got gastro and that's what happened. I can taste it in my mouth. <laughs> we were just hanging out at the tip like we always do. Is Charlotte in there? Here comes Adam and Shasha oh, jumping out of what are those machines? I don't even know what they're called. Like <laughs> jumping around the machine. Today you're going to be doing another catwalk challenge and you will be wearing the very rubbish that surrounds you. Why are we wearing rubbish? Like, all the girls, like, look at each other and we're like, ew, <laughs> rubbish. Today, you are going to be wearing garments that have been designed from sustainable garbage. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, oh, I've never oh, been oh, to Sydney oh, before. Oh, oh. And so this is like, I don't ever know the way around, so, and I'm terrible at directions. So I'm just gonna have to work with it. So I think I might go to Fernando for, for Sony. But this is so stressful already. <laughs> I did it. This looks like the Harbour Bridge. I realised I was going over the Harbour Bridge, which wasn't the way I intended to go at all. I ended up in some random place over the north side of Sydney in St. Leonard's. I had to like jump out of the car and ask for directions and I had no idea what I was doing. There. Yeah, do you know where I am right now? Um. <laughs> am I off the map? You're off the map. Oh, yeah. how do I know where to go if I'm off the map? <laughs> then you're gonna have to. I had no idea how I was gonna get back. He was kind of just like, turn around and follow the way you came. And I was like, I don't remember. And so I was totally messed up from there. I'm so stressed out. I think I know where I'm going now. So yeah, back on track now. So I finally found the street Fernando was on. Yep, down here. What number is it? 
I found it! I think in the go-sees I just want to be myself and just really show my true personality because you've only got a few minutes in that go-see so you've really got to just shine through it and just meet them and just get through all that shyness or whatever's holding you back. This is Montana. Hi Montana. Hi. Nice to Lovely to meet you. you. Are you f familiar with my label? Ah, oh, Camilla Mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Camilla and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped up there, sorry, I it's, yeah, Villa Franks, yes. <laughs> I felt so terrible. I was just like, you idiot, Montana, that was probably the worst thing you could have done. Yeah, we'll just pretend that didn't uh, happen. I'll ignore that. <laughs> um... Oh, I think someone's already here. Well, I just got to Isla and Liz is already here. So I think I'm just gonna make the decision to go back. I can't be late to Sheik, so I think I'm just gonna leave. I was really disappointed getting back to Sheep because I did only get to two castings and I did want to make it to four, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. There was one girl, however, that one designer said, I'm actually in love with her. I would book her with my eyes closed and I would even consider her opening my show. Do you know who that wonderful girl is, Ursula? And would you like me to tell them? Yes? Montana. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I won a thousand dollar gift voucher for Camilla Franks. Got her name right. And yeah, it was such a cool prize. I can't wait to spend it. Is that bottle for us? Ah! Oh, wow. I was really excited actually when the message in the bottle floated up. Um, I thought it was real. Oh um, life, on, life on film doesn't last forever and to make it as Australia's next top model you have to be prepared for anything. Pack your bags ladies, you're heading on an island for an epic adventure. What? Oh my God. Let's go to Barbados. What does this all mean? Well, my first thoughts were, oh my God, we're going to like Hawaii. Costa Rica, Bahamas, Caribbeans, somewhere lovely and hot, I suspected. Oh my god, it's a helicopter. Oh my god. I think my jaw dropped to the ground. I was like, it wasn't exactly Costa Rica. <laughs> I swear my face is like running off down the front of my dress. <laughs> Simone, I don't think can handle the heat. Must hit her so much because she's really pale. And every time she just walks in the sun, she's like, oh. Awesome. <laughs> I did want hot weather, but this is kind of going a step too far. You're going to be shooting in 45 plus degree heat. <laughs> nice. Yep. But that's not the worst of it. I'm going to be asking you, like I do every other fashion campaign that's cross season, you're going to be wearing winter clothes. Oh God. <laughs> We're going to die. Like, we're literally going to pass out and die. Nice beehive. Thanks. It's really hot. The heat was getting to me at that point. Like, I was starting to sweat. I was keen to just get that shot so I could just get out of those clothes. Great there. I love that. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Great. Well done. Good job. That, that is, is all our outfit today. Yeah, so I should have okay, been how about you turn a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> how much? 30,000. I'm a spare 30. 80,000. Whoa! 80,000 euros. Oh my god. Oh, Monty, oh my god. you're so bling. Wow. You look like a princess. A golden princess. Look in the mirror. Whoa! I love that. Can't believe that they would have to buy all that for their wives. Like. I'd be worth a fair amount of gold. I think I'd be worth a fair bodysuit of it. I might be worth a lot here because I'm so white and I have blonde hair. Is it chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate with camel milk. It's really good. Camel milk? Yeah. You can milk a camel? Oh my god. Thank Pe you. People think, people think the camel milk is the weird tasting, but actually it is just, yeah. it's just milk. Just come from a camel. I heard of camel's milk before, but we had no idea where camel's milk would have come from. Like, when have you ever seen? Do they just like sort of inject it out? Like, where does this camel milk come from? It's weird.
do milk camels because how do you get camel milk? Like you might not see their teeth. I've never seen a teat on a camel before. Yeah, but people still milk them. How do you? Oh, I'm sure they do. But when, have you ever like looked at a camel and saw like? I don't look for camel teeth, but I just know that you can milk them because people drink camel milk and you can get camel chocolate. Ooh. Do camels eat? I thought they only make drink. No, you can feed camels at zoos. I've done it. And off we go. Your camels are wait. We can see if we can milk them or not. Yeah! Finally. We can milk. Let's go. I was so excited to meet the camels. Like they're so cute and just their faces, they're like, oh you just want to get their cheeks and go like that. Look at their little hairstyle. <laughs> it's got a mohawk. I was so excited. So I've been wanting camels like this whole, whole time I've been here. My camel's completely ignoring me and it's being really hostile and it's ostracizing itself. I got brushed by a camel. I was so annoyed. Cute camel. Oh my god, Monty, it has nipples. Oh. Everyone, it has nipples. Does it really? <laughs> what, like nipples or a teat? Ever since the spice markets, we wondered like, how the hell do camels give milk? Do they have nipples or do they not? It just gave me the biggest pigeon eye ever. And when we found out that there were, we were very happy. <laughs> Time to get ready. Hello. Hi. Is that my top three I'm talking to? Yes. Yeah, your top three. How are you guys? Good. Look, I know you all worked really hard to photo shoot, so I've organised a little treat for you today. Ooh. Wow. You guys are going to go swimming with dolphins. Ah! Oh my god, swimming with dolphins. Like, that's always been a dream of mine to do. So enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Oh, I love dolphins. I know, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Ooh, it's Dolphins feel like sea cucumbers. Like, they're like all rubbery. I oh, know, they're just really weird feeling, but it's kind of nice. But gross. <laughs> It was probably one of the most fun experiences I've ever done. Like, it's so surreal, like being around dolphins, like jumping around and riding on them. I've never done anything like it, and it was just amazing. Oh, no. It's actually pretty funny to watch, and I was like, don't laugh. <laughs>